Dropping from height, even small heights, is dangerous if done incorrectly. But with the correct method, you can use the bike to help absorb the shock and put your body at minimal risk. The most controlled way of dropping off is using the pedal hop, or back hop. With this, you simply hop as closely to the edge as possible before lowering your front wheel until it is level with the platform. In the right position, some light pressure on the cranks whilst letting go of the brakes, and you'll start to drop off the edge. Think of it as dropping off the platform, not jumping off it. As you start to drop, you push the back wheel down towards the ground. You should land with your back brake on and your weight over the back of the bike. Your tyres, spokes and knees will take a lot of the initial impact. But even once you've landed, you continue to lose momentum by then dropping your front wheel down to the ground. As your front wheel touches, let go of your brakes and you'll start rolling forward, transferring any excess shock into forward momentum, giving you an effortless descent. If you don't yet know how to pedal hop, the same technique can be applied to pedaling off the edge instead. You won't want more than a crank turn, maybe even a half a crank turn, to get the desired speed to roll off the edge. The key thing to remember is to push the back wheel down towards the ground. Sometimes it's good to land on two wheels, such as if you're dropping off into a slope, but it's really important that you land both wheels at exactly the same time, otherwise you'll find it a jarring experience, or you might rebound over the front. Always commit fully to a drop. It's not fun when the front end of the bike drops without you. Dropping off big objects proves nothing to anyone. Build up to height slowly and listen to your body. I think it's really important with drop-offs to um, realise that there is a big danger element the higher you go. I, I have a limit to dropping off because it comes to a point where it literally starts to hurt. Trust me, when you're dropping high, it's, it's adrenaline. It's important to practice on small stuff, you know, start with a curb, go a little bit higher, a little bit higher. Like, people get impressed like, by the height you drop off, but you really got to have more bottle and confidence rather than physical ability to drop off something really high. If it's hurting you when you're doing it, you're doing it wrong. When, if you land it correctly, you should roll out of it smoothly and you, know, you shouldn't be feeling your wrists afterwards wondering what went wrong. I love drops. Um, because, because they're, they're a little bit scary, um, and I think that's fine. Feeling confident? Then check out the rest of our videos.